let's talk about what we can do to manipulate series besides just doing a bunch of algebra or doing some substitution. Let's talk about calculus. Let's do so in the context of the hyperbolic trig functions that we have been talking about. What have we got, right? We've got the hyperbolic cosine function, and that consists of all the even powers of the exponential. If you write that out in summation notation, it's the sum k goes from 0 to infinity x to the 2k over quantity 2k factorial. The hyperbolic sine, in contrast, is all of the odd powers of the exponential function. In summation notation, we can write that as the sum k goes from 0 to infinity x to the 2k plus 1 divided by quantity 2k plus 1 factorial. Now, let's see what we can do with these. Remember, we don't know what the derivatives of cosh and sinh are. What happens when we try to compute them by differentiating the series? So let's start with sinh. Let's compute the derivative of the hyperbolic sine of x with respect to x by differentiating the series x plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial. Keep going. What do we get? We're going to cross our fingers and differentiate term by term because that seems to have worked in the past. If I take the derivative of x, I get 1. The derivative of x cubed over 3 factorial, we did this when we were coming up with the series for sine and cosine. That is going to be x squared over 2 factorial. The derivative of x to the fifth, that's 5x to the fourth. The 5 cancels with the 5 factorial below. We get x to the fourth over 4 factorial. Then x to the sixth over 6 factorial. Keep going. Ah, we have recovered the series for the hyperbolic cosine. That's nice. That's sensible. That fits. The derivative of sinh is cosh. Okay, now let's redo this a little more compactly using summation notation. The derivative of sinh is the derivative of the sum k goes from 0 to infinity x to the 2k plus 1 over quantity 2k plus 1 factorial. I'm going to move that differentiation under the summation sign, and I'm going to differentiate the terms. That's going to give me what? The sum k goes from 0 to infinity of the derivative of x to the 2k plus 1. What's that? That's quantity 2k plus 1 times x to the 2k. Now, I still need to divide that by quantity 2k plus 1 factorial. I get a little bit of cancellation, and I'm left with the sum. k goes from 0 to infinity x to the 2k divided by quantity 2k factorial. That's it. That's the hyperbolic cosine series. We're all good. Now, of course, this tells you how to integrate the hyperbolic cosine. You get the hyperbolic sine. What's the derivative of the hyperbolic cosine? Let's do the exact same procedure. I'm going to take the derivative of the hyperbolic cosine series, 1 plus x squared over 2 plus yada, yada, yada. Okay, the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of x squared over 2 factorial is 2x divided by 2. That's x. Then, oh, I see how this is going to work. I'm going to get x cubed over 3 factorial. Then x to the fifth over 5 factorial. Everything is great. This is going to give me the series for cinch. Ah, this is interesting. This is kind of like trig functions, right? Derivative of cinch is cosh. Derivative of cosh is cinch. What happened to the minus sign? There's no minus signs going on here with hyperbolic trig functions. It's kind of like we could just ignore those guys. That's beautiful. Okay, now, just for completeness, let's do this using summation notation. Let's see what happens. I'm going to take the derivative of the sum. k goes from 0 to infinity, x to the 2k divided by 2k factorial. What is that? That's the sum of 2k times x to the 2k minus 1 divided by quantity 2k factorial. Now, here's where you got to be careful. 
because that sum is not k goes from 0 to infinity. What happens if I plug in k equals 0? Ooh, um, hmm, a little nervous there. Uh, there is a zero out in front, so that, that does kind of kill the x to the negative one, but I'm a little nervous about this, especially when I have to cancel the 2k below. The safe thing is to say, what we're going to do is take the sum as k goes from one to infinity, because that k equals zero term, that's gone. Now, if we re-index this series, if we let j be equal to k minus 1, that is, if we let k be equal to j plus 1, then using that change of index, we get the sum j goes from 0 to infinity of x to the 2j plus 1 divided by quantity 2j plus 1 factorial. That, of course, is the series for hyperbolic sine. It doesn't matter whether you use j, k, LMN, whatever, it doesn't matter. Now, we could have derived this from the definition using exponentials, using the chain rule, but why not do it with series? This is a really powerful idea. And it's just super cool that we've got these hyperbolic trig functions. We've got cinch, we've got cosh, and the derivative of cosh is cinch, the derivative of cinch is cosh. That is very cool. And it's very cool that we can figure this out just using series.